we struggled with infertility. Um, I've only ever gotten pregnant via IVF. Um, and, you know, we lost our first pregnancy. And then um, with our second, our daughter Colette, um, you know, made it past the scary first trimester. And when I was 21 weeks pregnant, I was hospitalized with severe preeclampsia and told you'll be here until you deliver. Um, and so, you know, just, you know, talk about the world sort of just you know, coming to a pause and thinking, you know, what is it, um, what are we going to do? And once I was hospitalized, I was in the hospital about a day or two, it occurred to me how blessed and how lucky I was that we could actually afford to handle this hospitalization and what was likely going to be a NICU stay. And I also realized in that same vein is that I knew I was definitely the minority that could do that. And so um, I remember turning to my husband and saying, we need to do something about this, um, all of that. And, you know, he, he turned to me and he said, please, for the love of God, could you please just worry about yourself once? And I said, well, that's not really what I do. You know who you married. What are you talking about? Um, but really, it just sort of stayed with me. And, you know, throughout the whole process, it kept coming back to me in my head. Um, ultimately I was in the hospital just over three weeks and then the doctors recommended delivery. So Colette was born at 24 weeks and five days, um, and went straight to the NICU and we spent nine days in the NICU, um, before she died. And, um, I always call it, she gained her angel wings. Um, but you know, in that whole process going through NICU and seeing the whole, you know, the toll it takes on parents, right? And I was being told by doctors and nurses, and I was hearing doctors and nurses tell, you know, other parents, you might want to save your leave time, go back to work now and save your leave time for when baby comes home. Um, and, you know, I had a very difficult re postpartum recovery and I couldn't imagine, I was in no shape to go back to work. There was absolutely no way that I could have gone back to work. And just thinking about that and thinking, how much time they were losing with their kids and, you know, not being participating. And, and so all of those kinds of things, you know, just kept sort of making this idea and this thought process 